been searching for someone a long time. Well, the search is over. <laughs> and now the search for the right psychiatrist begins. Stay away from the chicken! No! No, chicken! Mess you up! That's not going to be good for business. That's not going to be good for anybody. Let me ask you this. Is there any Tampax in your house? What you got here? Yeah. You got yourself a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you're with a guy and he tells you he has to get up early, what does that mean? It means he's lying. <laughs> Who's he? He's somebody. What about me? You're nobody. Why him? Why not me? He's good. You're not. I'm better than him. You're worse. <laughs> much, much worse. <laughs> what the f you doing, you little piece of from the time that I left the room. Wait, that's you? Yeah. I think the M&M should be you. When you go into a store, does it bother you that they make the security guard just stand there all day? No. <laughs> they didn't bother Susan either. That's why I'm different. I can sense the slightest human suffering. Are you sensing anything right now? It's a pig at a complaint department. Yeah, and he's saying... I wish I was taller. <laughs> See? That, that's his complaint. I get it. Do you? Because that's not a normal complaint. Well, how about if it was something like, I can't find my receipt, my place is a sty. I thought you said she stinks. She does stink. And she should quit. But I don't want it to be because of me. It should be the traditional route. Years of rejection and failure until she spit out the bottom of the porn industry. I've never really felt confident in um, one particular aspect. <laughs> Below the equator? Yeah. She's too good. Too good. I mean, she's giving and caring and genuinely concerned about the welfare of others. I can't be with someone like that. I see what you mean. I, I mean, I admire the hell out of her. You can't have sex with someone you admire. Where's the depravity? No depravity. I mean, I look at her, I, I can't imagine she even has sex. On the other hand... You're not a patient, you're a customer. And you're not a doctor, but you play one in real life. She could come to the party tomorrow and read Gwen's lips for me. What? We bring her to the party, and she tells me what Gwen is saying about me. She's not a novelty act, George, that you hire out for weddings and bar mitzvahs. Oh, I know this guy went out of his way to not invite you. How am I going to feel if I show up with an uninvited, unwelcome intruder? The way I feel when I go places with you? Hello! Anyway, I, I wanted to talk to you about Dr. Watley. I, I have a suspicion that he's converted to Judaism purely for the jokes. <laughs> and this offends you as a Jewish person? No, it offends me as a comedian. All right, how's this? We wait till we get to your street corner, we see Elaine and Kramer, then we get out. They can't shoot us in the city. Nah, no one's ever been shot in the city. <laughs> How are you going to be the executor of my living will? Y you see, you can't let go. <laughs> Trust me, Kramer, given the legal opportunity, I will kill you. Hello. Jerry, you find me off Jerry my I'm trapped under my desk. Steinbrenner is in the room. You've got to help me. Who is this? Jerry. Yeah. Jerry, the Japanese guys had sake in the hot tub. you got to get them out of the drawers and get them down here. I don't have a focus group to sell the pilot to Japanese TV. Uncle Leo? Jerry! <laughs> so we go into NBC, we tell them we got an idea for a show about nothing. Exactly. They say, what's your show about? I say nothing. There you go. I think you may have something here. I'm telling you, she's good looking. What about the body? What kind of body? Good body. Nice body. How nice? Nice. Just nice? Pretty nice. Really good? Really very nice and good. <laughs> What about personality? Good personality. <laughs> Funny. 
bright. Smarter than me? I don't want anyone smarter than me. How could she be smarter than you? <laughs> Sheila? Hey! Uh-oh. What is this? You're kissing in my line? Nobody kisses in my line. I can kiss anywhere I want to. You just cost yourself a soup. How dare you? Come on, Jerry, we're leaving. Jerry? Do I know you? What are you doing? Oh, I was just looking for uh, some gum. Or mint. Oh, I have junior mints. No! No, I mean... <laughs> Los, ihr Lumpen, raus hier! Marsch, marsch! Schnell! Du, da drüben! Komm hier rüber! Los! And I'm not here just defending myself, but all those pickers out there who've been caught. Each and every one of them. Who has to suffer the shame and humiliation because of people like you. Are we not human? If we pick, do we not bleed? I am not an animal! You have a little something on your face. I can get it. No, 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 you're missing it. It's higher. It's an eyelash. Make a wish. I don't want to. Make a wish. Okay. <laughs> Didn't come true. Oh, my God! We have a few questions we'd like you to answer. I have a few questions of my own. It shrinks? <laughs> like a frightened turtle. Perhaps there's more to Newman than meets the eye. No, there's less. <laughs> it's possible. No, it isn't. I've looked into his eyes. He's pure evil. <laughs> Maybe he's an enigma. A mystery wrapped in a riddle. Yeah, he, he's a mystery wrapped in a Twinkie. What were you thinking? What was going on in your mind? Artistic integrity. Well, where, where, where did you come up with that? You're not artistic, and you have no integrity. You cannot turn down $50 for a $6 ride. No. Watch me. Stop it. I want that ride, lady. Help! Someone help! Shut up, you old pig! Oh, no. You don't know what it's like in there. All night long, things are creaking and cracking, and that red light is burning my brain. You look a little stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. So, Kramer, what am I supposed to do if I don't have that fur hat by four o'clock? They're going to take me down like Nixon. You know my friend Bob Sacramento? I thought he was Kramer's friend. Well, he called last night about 3 a.m. and we got to talking. He sells Russian hats down at Battery Park. 40 bucks. You don't know my name, do you? <laughs> yes, I do. What is it? it? It rhymes with a female body part. What is it? Mulva? <laughs> uh, uh, Gipple? Looking at cleavage is like looking at the sun. You don't stare at it. It's too risky. You get a sense of it, then you look away. Right. And you want to be my latex salesman. See, you never be late for a plane with a girl. Because a girl runs like a girl with the little steps and the arms flailing out. You want to make this plane? You got to run like a man. Get your knees up. Don't you see what's going on here? No boxers, no jockeys. Oh. The only thing between him and us is a thin layer of gabardine. This pirate trend that she's come up with, Jerry, this, this is going to be the new look for the 90s. You're going to be the first pirate. Well, I don't want to be a pirate. I Jerry. can't take it anymore. She's driving me crazy. I can't sleep. I can't leave the house. I'm here. I'm climbing the walls. Meanwhile, I'm dating a virgin. I'm in this contest. Something's got to give. Well, you don't think I can? No chance. <laughs> you think you could? Well, I know I could hold out longer than you. Care to make it interesting? 
Sure, how much? Hundred dollars? You're on. Wait a second, wait a second. Count me in on this. You? Yeah. You'll be out before we get the check. I don't know, my bathing suit? That, that's a little familiar. I, I don't want your, your boys down there. Now, what's the matter with my boys? Your boys should stay right. in their neighborhood. Boy, I'll tell you, knowing you is like going out of the jungle. I never know what I'm going to find next, and I'm real scared. <laughs> Hello, Newman. I, uh, I gotta get going. There's been a big misunderstanding here. Yeah, yeah. We did that whole thing for your benefit. We knew you were eavesdropping. That's why my friend said all that. It was on purpose. We're not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm sorry. We have no midsize available at the moment. I don't understand. I made a reservation. Do you have my reservation? Oh, yes, we do. Unfortunately, we ran out of cars. But the reservation keeps the car here. That's why you have the reservations. I know why we have reservations. I don't think you do. <laughs> if you did, I'd have a car. <laughs> See, you know how to take the reservation. You just don't know how to hold the reservation. And that's really the most important part of the reservation, the holding. Hello? Hi. Would you be interested in switching over to TMI Long Distance Service? Oh, gee, I, I can't talk right now. Why don't you give me your home number and I'll call you later? Uh, well, I'm sorry. We're not allowed to do that. Oh, I guess you don't want people calling you at home. Uh, no. Well, now you know how I feel. So what are you saying? You didn't like my act? So that's it? I can't be with someone if I don't respect what they do. You're a cashier! According to your story, Hernandez passes you and starts walking up the ramp. Mm -hmm. Then you say you were struck on the right temple. The spit then proceeds to ricochet off the temple, striking Newman between the third and the fourth rib. The spit then came off the rib, made a right turn, hitting Newman in the right wrist causing him to drop his baseball cap. The spit then splashed off the wrist, pauses in midair, mind you, makes a left turn and lands on Newman's left thigh. That is one magic loogie. Well, that's the way it happened. What happened to your head when you got hit? Well, uh, uh, my head went back to the left. Say that again. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. So, what are you saying? I'm saying that the spit could not have come from behind. That there had to have been a second spitter. Behind the bushes on the gravelly road. If the spitter was behind you as you claim, that would have caused your head to pitch forward. So the spit could have only come from the front and to the right. But that's not what they would have you believe. I'm leaving. Jerry's a nut. Wait, wait, wait. The sad thing is, we may never know the real truth. 